Okay, so evening guys, welcome to another episode of the Beard of Berserker with me, Matt, and I hope you're having a fantastic day and I hope everybody out there is having a fantastic start to 2019. I really hope this year is going to be an epic one. I'm going all out on this, got some amazing stuff coming up on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Before we start, a massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you that subscribed, commented, liked and watched any of my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Because what I'm trying to do on my channel is show you that there is an alternative to plowing your money into massive companies and stuff. Okay, the reason that I'm doing this is when I first started doing beard reviews, I know I'm doing loads of other reviews now, clothing, pendants and all sorts of stuff. Um, but when I first started doing beard reviews, the first thing I was thinking of when I started is get in touch with the big companies and sort of see if they'd like me to do some reviews for them and help promote and everything else like that. And I was hardly hearing anything back. And a couple of the comments that I did get, uh, messages were downright rude, to be honest with you. And it got me thinking to myself that these massive companies, they've kind of got millions of pounds, hundreds of thousands of pounds that they can shell out into models, promoting their products, advertising and stuff like that. And they kind of almost forget whether, not, I'm so, not saying with every single massive company out there, but with a lot of them, they almost kind of forget where they've come from, that their name is starting to sell the brand as opposed to the product selling themselves, if you know what I mean, the name selling the products. And they kind of forget and they just kind of coast along like that. So I was like, well, let's have a look. And I found that there were craftsmen out there and small little companies individuals families and stuff making some amazing products whether it's clothing jewelry all sorts of bits and pieces and these guys must have it really hard because i sat there thinking to myself well they haven't got the money especially if it's a family or a little tiny business starting up and stuff trying to get them products out onto a market that's already flooded with loads and loads and loads of other products and so it's nice to try and show you that there is an alternative out there and what I am finding with the smaller companies businesses individuals and families and whatnot is they're putting so much time love effort into making products and the ingredients they're using is spot on and really really well crafted and their customer service is fantastic as well you know they can't do enough to help and tell you about their products and they've got so much passion about the products that they're creating that they just want to talk about it which is not is really great to hear as opposed to a larger company just going yeah we've launched this we've launched that and everything else just to bring in a few more bucks so i've kind of like taken it upon myself to kind of show you guys that there's loads of stuff out there and we need to get behind these guys and support them because if we don't they're just going to go, well, what's the point in us bothering because nobody's buying it from us. They're buying it from big established companies. So we need to kind of like help and nurture these smaller companies, businesses out there. So with all these reviews that I am doing, completely unbiased, everything is my own honest 100% opinion. So stuff that I might like, you might hate and vice versa. We've all got our own opinions. I'm not affiliated to any of the companies whatsoever. So stuff that I'm going out sourcing and buying or stuff that's been sent through to me, you get a completely honest review from it. And which is nice because there are some bad stuff and there's some really, really good stuff on the market and that. So it's nice to kind of fight your way through and try and find the good stuff because I'm on a quest to find my favourite beard products and stuff like that. So the way that I do my reviews, have a look at the products themselves, talk a bit about the products, the ingredients, the pricing of them, what I think of them, the scent and everything else. Then at the end with the beard products, we score them out of 20. 20 being absolutely phenomenal, zero being I wouldn't touch it with a stinky stick. So that's how I kind of do my reviews. As with all the reviews that I do, um, I'll put links down below to the products themselves and where to get them and everything so please go and check them out and i'm doing a review tonight for the audacious beard company or audacious beard co however you want to call it done several reviews for these guys already um, the original lineup that they bought out um, was the wood chopper the woodsman and the buccaneer oils and they also done the balm as well obviously they're a beard product company so they sell beard waxes, beard balms, beard oils, and I've started uh, reviewing their new lineup. Uh, the, 
the original three oil scents that they bought through, absolutely fantastic. Now that they've been doing one called Cirque de Barbe, Circus of the Beard, Bearded Circus, Circus Beard, whatever you want to call it, uh, French. And so I've already had a look to one called Zazel or Zazel, depending on what you want to call it, uh, Firecracker as well. And they've sent through another one for me to have a look at and review. Thank you very much, Audacious Beard Company. And this is the Mighty Moko. And their packaging has obviously gone circusy for this. And you can see a picture of the Mighty Moko on the top. And there's a picture of the poster up there of him. Thank you very much for sending that through as well. It's nice to try and brighten the room up a little bit rather than just play walls behind me when I'm doing reviews. So this is the external packaging that their oil comes in. And there is all about it on the back. And inside, there's a close up as well, there you go, if you can't see a little card for them. Like I say, we'll put links down below to the Audacious Beard Company. There you go. They even sent me through a lollipop as well, very nice, but that doesn't sway my decision in any way, shape or form. Thank you for the lollipop. Um, so this is the oil that they have sent through, and they also have the matching balm. Now, I do like the labelling that they've done on the Cirque de Barbe range. Um, very circusy, retro looking, very nice graphics on the front. The strong man, mighty Mokko, with his weights and tattoos and everything. Very nice. Even got the batch numbers on the back, which I do like. Because uh, it shows care when people are making batches and they put batch numbers on and stuff, rather than just slinging it into a pot and going, yeah, that'll do. And the thing also that I do like about Audacious Beard Company is all their products are safety assessed. They use all natural ingredients and the oils are hand blended. And it's kind of quite nice to find sort of artisan handcrafted beard products. So this is it. Now the scent on this one is allegedly musky, woody and kind of peppery sort of scent with sweet notes to it. I have used these. This isn't just an unboxing because I really don't see the point. And just unboxing something, smelling it and going, yeah, it's kind of all right, because how do you know if you've not used it? As you can see, these come in the brown amber style glass um, jar and bottle, which allegedly stops UV light from damaging the oils and everything inside. And as you can hear, glass. First of all, we'll start with the oil. It's got a nice pipette on the top, which I do like my pipettes because if I've just washed wash my beard, then I'll put eight drops on. If I haven't washed my beard, then I'll just put use six drops. So that's all I use. So depending on how long your beard is, you lose either use more or shorter beard, you'll use less. And so it's nice for judging that. And the ingredients on the oil, they're using apricot kernel oil, grape seed oil, hemp and castor oils. And juniper berry, black pepper, and patchouli essential oils with vitamin E as well. And then six drops. Interesting to see whether the scent smells like it's supposed to. This is a very soft scent. It's not a harsh in your face, knock your brains out. It's almost quite a subtle scent. Because remember, I have said before in other videos, when you go out and buy your oils and that, the stuff when you just open it and smell it is completely different to once you start generating some heat through it and then you can smell it more. The flavor, uh, the scent sort of start releasing a bit more. And on my scale of very, very subtle, medium and knock your head off stuff, this is just under kind of like medium. It's quite a nice soft scent, but it, I'm not saying soft as in you can hardly smell it. You can definitely pick out all the scents on it. It's definitely got, you can smell the patchouli in it, juniper berry, and there is kind of like a, a dark sort of scent from the pepper, if you know what I mean as well, kind of like a peppery scent to it. And I have used this. This is not the first time that I'm putting it through my beard because like I said before on my videos, I do work in a hot, sticky environment. So it's always nice to see kind of roughly how long the scent lasts before it dies off. And this is lasting around about hour and three quarters to maybe two hours. It's, even though it's a subtle scent, it doesn't mean it disappears very, very quickly or just underneath sort of halfway. Because it's quite a subtle one, it doesn't mean it disappears 
as soon as you put it on it still lingers about because I do like it when I'm working I get a breeze through the bead and you can kind of smell the scent from the bead oil that you're using very well blended and it's quite a nice relaxed scent if you know what I mean it's not a kind of like whoa scents all over the all over the place and really sort of knock your block off stuff very well put together very well blended and I really do rate that my favourite one from the Cirque du Barbe range so far has been the Zazel, Zazel, depending on what you want to call it. Um, that has kind of like got a rosy Turkish delight sort of scent to it and that is phenomenal because that's one of my favourite scents. I did have a beard comb, I've dropped it somewhere, never mind, never mind. And so then moving on to the beard balm. Dun, dun, dun. So I have used this as well and when you use your beard balm for a beard my sort of length I'm literally only using about that which is almost half a fingernail's worth and put that in proportion on my hand literally that is all I'm using on my beard and with the wax it's got uh, your shea butter, shea butter depending on what you want to call it, grapeseed oil and your beeswax. Also obviously on top of that you've got your juniper berry, black pepper and your patchouli essential oils. Definitely picking up the patchouli slightly more in the beard balm but still that whole rounded scent of the black pepper patchouli and juniper berries and remember with a balm it's kind of not a wax okay even though it has beeswax in there which gives you keeps all your sort of little tiny scraggly hairs in check it's not designed so you can start doing mad stuff because you can obviously buy moustache wax and beard wax that does that Let's put the rest of it on the tattoos this is good for your skin obviously it's what it does it nourishes your skin and your hairs and helps to lock in moisture and stuff like that especially in winter to be honest if you have a beard in winter the last thing you want is it drying drying out and getting cold and brittle and damaged and everything else so it does help to retain moisture within your hair and it's good for stopping your skin from drying out and I really do like the scent from the Mighty Moko they've done a really good job of blending that I really do like it although it's not my personal favorite of the ones that they have bought out I still highly rate it my favorite like I say was the Zazel Zazel whatever you want to call it I did like the firecracker as well because that had a nice sort of spicy cinnamony gingery sort of scent to it but this is also ridiculously well blended and I'm going to score this out of 20 before we do we'll talk about the prices um, for the oil £13.50 and that's for a 30ml bottle and for the 60ml bottle of uh, balm you're looking at £13.50 as well and to me that's well worth the money it's such well put together stuff all of the products that I have tested and reviewed from the Audacious Beard Company can't fault them in any way shape or form all their scents are exactly what they say they all smell stunning absolutely brilliant and then i'm sure there is something out there for everyone with these guys just really well put put together really love their stuff and really great customer service as well they're always oh what do you think of it do you think there's anything you would change about it and it's not about me you know because everyone's individual some i do like my punchy knock your head off scents and everything else at the same time not every day i want to smell like that so it's nice to have subtler stuff medium stuff and the stuff that they're knocking out is like I say absolutely phenomenal and I'd quite happily pay £13.50 for either of those the beard oil in 30 mils is going to last you ages and you saw how much that I used half a pea size from the bar mess is going to last you weeks if not months so it's really well worth the money and I'm going to score it quite happily 19 out of 20 the only reason I'm scoring it 19 out of 20 and not possibly 20 out of 20 is I love the scent on it. For me and in my opinion it could just do with being kicked up a little bit if you know what I mean. Just slightly strong but that's just personal preference you know it's my opinion. I do like the punchier scents but what they have done and the way they've blended it you can smell 
juniper berry, patchouli and the black pepper in there. Very nice scents and it has got a very sort of sweet sort of tone to it if you know what I mean as well. It's got a sweetness that rounds it off which is really really nice. But absolutely amazing stuff from the Audacious Beard Company. Thank you to them for sending that through. Love their products. Like I say, I will put links down below in the description. So please go check them out. Should anybody have any craft stuff, anything they'd like me to review, any beard products or anything, please get in touch with me either on Instagram. I'm over there on this is the Viking Beard Map or just message or comment me down below or email me. Thank you guys. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this review. Any comments, please feel free to stick them down below. Thank you guys. And I look forward to seeing you in the next review in the next day or so. Thank you so much to Audacious Beer Company for sending that through. Thank you guys for watching it because obviously I'm trying to show you some stuff out there that's alternative to massive companies. Keep on loving each other. Keep on taking care of each other and looking after each other. Keep on growing those beards and I look forward to seeing you on another episode of The Beard of Berserker with me, Matt. Have a good one. Thank you.